Hey coach, well, I'm so happy you found us on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell up above. We put out content just about every day. Also, go down below and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. If you're looking to become a better basketball coach, you're looking for a mentor, if you're looking for resources, teachhoops.com is the answer for you. Go over and check it out and have a great day. All right, welcome to High School Hoops. It's been a, it's been a while, coach. It has been. You know, reality hit us, you know. School, you're getting ready for your season. School yeah. and yeah, it's like holy crud. Yeah, a little bit of you probably like, had to send your kid off to college again. Yep, he's off. He's not. Soft, he's still sophomore year, right? Sophomore year, and my daughter's getting doing the whole. You wait till you get to your kids get old and you have to start doing the college thing. You know, then you got to like the application process. And yeah, oh, your daughter's uh, a senior this year. Right? She yeah. is. So you I'll be, be an empty. I'll be empty, empty nester, man. Empty nester next year. You're gonna be really bored. <laughs> Maybe I'm, not. I'm, I'm never bored, yeah. but it's a it's a spectrum of boredom, I guess. A reality um, check that you're getting older. Yeah, it is a reality check. It's like Coach and I before we came out and going, "Wow, well, both of us look really tired." It's like, well, crud, yeah. It's like jumping back on the horse mid uh, mid race or whatever. Yeah, you go from not working at all to working every day. It's a different different feel. Right, and I think a lot, I think yeah, with COVID and all that kind of stuff. All right, so what's today's topic? This is this was this was mine, right? Do you remember? Yep, remember? yep, yep. So uh, you forgot to talk about our sponsors because we haven't done this in a while. You want to? Yeah. Oh, crud! I didn't do that. Wow. See, I, everyone that's listening I, can't I'm see. A, I'm on point still because I still got another twenty years to probably teach. Steve's in the. <laughs> He's in retirement mode, so he really. Kind I'm of laying in bed on my phone. To, yeah. Coach goes, "I'm up, ready. I'm up. Let's do the podcast." <laughs> All right, give me some time. Hey, I gotta get, get in the gym today. Our... I gotta get my workout in. So. All right. Yep. So our sponsor is Doctor Dish, uh, the best shooting machine on the market, bar none. Go over and check them out. We were talking. I was talking. We had a coaches meeting with my coaches, which has something to do with what we're going to talk about. But anyway, we were talking about the machines, and we have an old one because we had a. It's probably over ah, 10, 12 years. Anyway, some of the plastic started to crack, so we had to kind of fix it. Anyway, but they are great machines. They hold up. Um, mention us, mention me, mention high school hoops, mention Coach Unplugged, mention anything. It's related. They'll give you $400 off. Um, and then also go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. And it, going back to what Coach said, yes, it's, uh, you know, Coach and I do this because it's fun, but um, – Teach hoops, uh, you know, my son's got to eat in college. So <laughs> it helps me send him, it helps me Venmo and money so he can go to the grocery store. So help us out. Go over and check out teachhoops.com. Um, one stop shop for basketball coaches. Uh, it's got everything you need. I need 36 hours in a day to put all the content I still have in the queue ready to to be loaded up but anyway i'm working on it every time i have a free five minutes last night i was texting one of my friends and it's like midnight and he goes well, what are you doing i go i'm grading papers that's what i'm doing so i'm not even not uploading to teach hoops.com but i'm working on it um, that's why you're and, tired that's probably why i'm tired watching abbott elementary if you watched abbott elementary that's yeah, sadly it feels really true sometimes <laughs> well, it's 100 percent true what are you talking about it's partly true <laughs> Hey, just, I'm an element. You never know who's the, listening to our podcast. I don't <laughs> care. It's a hundred percent true. Like, don't ask for that. You're not gonna get. It. It's like, yep, yep. yep. Oh, it's <laughs> you being an elementary school teacher. I bet it hits a little bit closer to home. Too. Sadly, yes. <laughs> it's so true. Like, there's. If you haven't, I have no affiliation with Abbott Elementary, but it's funny. If you're a teacher, give it give it a handful of episodes. Don't just give it one or two and. uh for sure. I think I think you'll be hooked. All right, <laughs> go ahead, Coach. What's the What's the topic? Uh, preseason meeting. Uh, so how do you uh, How do you conduct a successful one? I would tell you my my first thing is I thought about how we started at eight twenty six is probably have an agenda set up like you you want to have a list of things you want to get done because knowing you or your staff or the people that you're with you haven't seen in a while and you're going to get off topic and then you're not going to get as much done so well you and I catch up so so I'm going to defend <laughs> us so we usually it takes us like a half hour to get going on the podcast when we batch some of these but we haven't yep. talked to each other in a month so we catch yep. up it's yep. catch up time like that's right 
we were catching up on each other's lives. So that's part of the agenda. You put that on our agenda, build in 25 minutes to catch up when we talk. There you go. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I think there's a couple things. First of all, I think there's two meetings. So let's do, I think there's the preseason coaches meeting, and I think there's the preseason um, players meeting. Players meeting. So let's talk players meeting first. Um, you know, end of, uh, uh, early October, end of September, usually is when we have our first, I usually give my team and my players, you know, obviously I'm in contact with the guys that were, you know, they're going to probably have a possibility of being on my team. So we're already have, we, I mean, we've had open gyms and stuff like that, but so there's already contact, but a formal meeting about make sure you have everything in your physical and all that kind of stuff. Um, we usually do that. Um, we, we, we do it. We're doing it a little different this year. We're going to do freshmen and sophomores together. And we're going to do juniors and seniors together. Um, even, sometimes, if even if they're a varsity caliber player. Yeah. I'll grab freshmen and sophomores that are good enough to possibly make my team. Cause if I pull them, they're probably going to make my team. <laughs> so, uh, they're probably good enough. I've probably seen enough that they're good enough. Um, but it's more a numbers thing, especially, and we didn't even talk about the construction that's happening in our school. So um, we have lunch issues and construction issues and all sorts of stuff. So we're trying to we're trying to break it up into a little bit thing. But you know, for me, this meeting is really administrative, and it's also it's not a rah rah. I think we can do this. You know, I'll do that when I do my secondary meeting about a month ahead of the season maybe a little three weeks where you know i think we can do this here's what i'm going to expect don't make plans over christmas blah, blah, blah. this one this meeting tends to be very um logistical. Agen yeah logistical and and agenda like i'll i i have in front of me a white piece of paper like a b c d you know the things that i need to go through like with the them sit and, sit and get that, that you have all that thing laid out Right. Like sign in here. This is what we're thinking. Here's what you should do. What do you, you know, um, I'm thinking of doing a Google form. I've never done a Google form sign in at, at a meeting. I'm thinking of maybe doing that. I usually just do it on a piece of paper because I'm old school and sign your name in my classroom. We'll see. Um, anyway, so that I, I find what, what did you, what, what, what was your first player or preseason player meeting look like? Um, I, I would say very similar. Uh, I bring the whole program in. Are we talking players or parents? Or are we talking players and parents? No, see, I don't do parents until we pick the team. I don't do a pre-pre. Okay. And I don't, and I know there's coaches that do that. I've never done that. And I don't, I mean, maybe it wasn't a thing 35 years ago. Um, and I, and I've seen more of that around that you do a pre preseason, but it's like, I don't need to necessarily have a meeting with um, that's my alarm to come talk to you. You, you keep talking. You hear that in the background? Let me go turn that off. <laughs> uh, so one thing that I do um, or I have done in the past, uh, instead of doing a sign in sheet, I think is really unique and something that you can do is you basically just create a small little template of a half piece of paper. And on that half piece of paper, you have a couple of, pieces of information so you don't have all the clutter of people coming in and signing in so you do like a half sheet so you put the name uh what grade they're in and maybe two questions that you really want to see where your players or the kids coming into your program are are or things that you're really focusing on this season so um what's your goal for this season um how do you feel whatever just two questions to get them thinking about basketball and then you can use those half sheets to basically create uh to to create your template of how many kids attended your meeting so it's kind of an opportunity for them to uh, fill a little bit of information and uh, be able to kind of start thinking about the season instead of just coming in and signing in. It's a little bit more of an interactive piece to get them start thinking about basketball. Um, you know, I, again, it's really logistical. This is how, what we do, how we do things. Um, right. Yeah. And going back to when the alarm went off, the, the reason I don't do the preseason parent thing is I don't need to talk to the parents of the kids I'm not keeping. Yeah, and so That's like my theory again, and everybody's it's all different though. So you you coach at a very very big high school where cuts do happen. You know, like right. some programs now, the smaller communities, you know, they're just trying to get kids in, right? And there haven't been cuts in a long time. So you know your approach might be completely different. You know, compared to because like I agree, like it would be a waste of somebody's time 
to 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 get them all in if you know that some of these kids aren't going to be you have to be real with them right right you know, and the, and the thing is it's like i you want i want kids to try and you never know but it's like and especially as a parent that's what you definitely want to do you want your kid to experiment and and learn things and try things and and do some of those but it's like why are you hearing about our christmas trip to florida when your kids not, i mean it's just it's not a real i mean so basically, is there like your first preseason meeting really about like the first week of basketball? It is. It tends to and be basically like basically what to get, how to get yourself ready for that that point that week, and then you kind of go back with them after that week is done. When yeah. You so usually, what happens is we'll make we'll we'll pick teams. Well, we can talk about this later, but we pick teams, and then maybe two days after I pick the team, we'll have a parent meeting yep. at that point and do some of the logistical. Here's what has to happen. Here's the stuff. Um, it's just that's yeah, that's it just falls into that category. Um, so that's the first pre and then so my question to you is what is the essential pieces of information that you want to get out if you're doing that pre pre? What are the grades? Okay. Because we're like halfway through first quarter or uh, kind of for coaches to think about what are the things like if I'm gonna put like five if I'm gonna pick five things or really important things I want to communicate to to players, you know, what would it be? Yep. So, um, I, I talk about, I talk about grades. I talk about, um, physical and we have a user, you have to pay to play kind of thing. So user's fee. So it's make sure those are taken care of, um, okay. all the waivers, all the legal. So probably one is grades. Two is, is legal ease. Like, like, like this physical paperwork, all that stuff, all the paperwork that needs to happen. Cause we live in a lawyer world. Yep. Um, so those two are that's the re really the reason I'm having the meeting is those two. Um, so I conveyed those two and then I will briefly talk about here's when tryouts are going to be. Here's how the team's going to be picked. Um, you know, uh, when our first game is who we're going to play. I talk about some some non maybe like basically things. also do you talk about making sure that you're in good basketball shape before the season starts? Is that I do. I, I and again, I'm, 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 I'm. We'll talk about this in a later podcast. But I'm talking. I, I, there's a very fine line between that fall athlete and the non-fall athlete. Which we'll talk and, about next week. Yeah. yeah, and all that. So, um, I talk about some of that, and you know, you know, staying healthy, and I'll probably have a. You, if I were you, I'd get a flu shot, COVID shot, kind of thing. Um, I don't think that would get me fired, but I don't know. Anyway. I uh, often tell people too: is make sure you're making good choices because you know around how yes. people make stupid decisions. I've lost players for eight games because of certain situations, because of the big decisions. barn party. Yeah, yes. yeah seriously, I, and it's a reality. So I think it's important to really put that, to put your voice inside their head, kind of thing, saying, "Okay, what 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 would this situation put me in if, with the season?" You know, right? I think I mean yeah, because they're teenagers; they don't they're frontal cortex the cerebral cortex is not fully developed um <laughs> at all <laughs> not i think for boys it's 25 i think i read that or heard that somewhere that explains everything it does explain all that. <laughs> uh what uh okay so what else coach um i think that's uh, oh, pretty good then yeah no then we gotta do the coaches meeting yeah coaches preseason meeting yeah oh uh, what did you talk about in your coaches preseason meeting i'd be interested to know what you did before um, i, I would my be honest with you we start looking at the players a little bit what we're coming back with um what 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 roster sizes are going to look like in a smaller community how we're going to make that work um smaller communities sometimes have kids play more than one half you know looking at how we're going to make that work logistically um you know practice schedule i don't know what we're going to do in regard and avail availability and kind of basically you know start to create our practice schedule you know depending yeah that's what we well we talk and again i kind of uh, my my preseason meeting with the coaches tends to be a little bit logistical too right um you know these are the kids that you know i would say to me it would make more sense to do the player meeting before the coaches meeting or, yes because then you get more information and data of where you are with kids um and so i mean really that 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 information that you get kind of leads what you're going to do with your coaches. All right. These are the players we're expecting 27, 28 freshmen coming out. So many sophomores, juniors, seniors, these are returning players and just, you know, kind of go there, you know, because I think you're going to start talking about X's and O's later on. I mean, I'm sure you're going to have several meetings throughout the, 
before probably a meeting a week. I don't know how many meetings you have each week with your staff, but uh, it's, it's usually be every other week. I'm thinking this week of possibly doing a, um, a retreat um, with my staff um, go up on a Saturday, come back on a Sunday kind of thing and just dive into our team and the stuff we do and why we do it and how we're going to practice. And um, <laughs> so I'm thinking of maybe doing that. Um, I would tell you right now, I think that's a great idea because we're kind of not saying post COVID, but people are tending to be more comfortable to do things like that. And I think people want to do things like that. I think yeah. one of the reasons why I'm so tired this, this year is like <laughs> this, this summer, this summer, I, I, I did things, you know, I went to concerts, I went on vacation, I did things. I didn't, we haven't done that in a long time, you know? And so right. I think, I think uh, adults are eager to do something like that. I think it would be an awesome idea. I think it's great. Okay, well, you've convinced me now. Maybe I should do that. There you go. Oh, last question of the day before <laughs> yeah. we end today. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about having an NFL football player that played for you? Well, I've had a couple. Oh, sorry, um, a couple. <laughs> had a few. Uh, you talking about Jake with yeah. the Cowboys? Yeah, yeah. that's great. That's I, cool. I, we always predicted he was going to be one. Really? Um, just, yeah. Because he's just, just a piece. His, well, just because of his body type and his athleticism and um it doesn't surprise me you know he's a perfect six five quick fast athletic yeah. tight end football family blah blah blah. The, um yeah it's great i mean i don't love the cowboys but i love jake so you know <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll root for the cowboys because of him yeah. um but yeah i think that's it's all uh it's all good it's pretty exciting actually makes i don't I've never been a big Sunday um, sit down and watch football games kind of guy. So um, I, I tend to watch a little college football if I'm going to watch football, to be honest with you. Yeah. I like the environment. Yeah. And it's just never been, never, never twirled my. It's great. Whatever. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it is. All right. Till next week, coach. Sounds good. Thanks for watching, Coach. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. Make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time we come back on. But you will not be disappointed with teachhoops.com. 14-day free trial. Let's go check it out. Have a great day.